Hey guys, my name is Kevin Carden. I am a digital artist and photographer, and uh, I am here again to share another Photoshop tutorial with you guys. We're going to be doing one of these every single day for the month of June, and I hope that these have been helpful for you so far and uh, that you're able to take these uh, secrets and tips and techniques and use them in your own artwork. What we're going to be doing today is doing uh, something that's very popular in the Photoshop uh, manipulation um, genre is miniaturizing a, a person in the scene. So I've got this picture right here, and this is uh, this was off of a, a free stock website, uh, unsplash.com, and uh, this is a picture of a toad stool, and uh, it's just a, a mushroom just sitting in the the forest. Uh, looks really cool, very interesting, and I thought it'd be cool to add uh, a model into the scene that's very small, a miniature model, and add them to uh, this this little mushroom here, this little toadstool. And so I've got this picture right here. Uh, this was taken, uh, again, off of a free stock website. Uh, I think this one was Unsplash as well. And uh, we're going what we're going to do is we're going to take her, we're going to cut her out, and then we're going to add her right on top of this mushroom. So I've already cut her out. And so let me go ahead and show you that mask. Uh, I've already went through the trouble of cutting her out, so we don't have to worry about uh, going over that or wasting your time watching me. Uh, cut her out. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make her uh, smaller. I'm just going to go ahead and make her smaller. And I'm going to stick her right on top of this uh, toadstool. Something about right in this general area. Of course, you know, you can make your person as big or as small as you want uh, to make. But I think something like that looks pretty good. So uh, we're going to go with this this size right here. I'm going to hit your check mark when you're done. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that. And I'm going to put both of these into a group. We're going to call this before. So this is what we have right now. This this woman sitting on top of the mushroom. And uh, we'll come back at the very end and see uh, how our editing looks at the very end. All right. So what we want to do now, um, I'm going to go ahead and make her into her own layer. And I'm going to just go ahead and do a puppet warp tool really quick. Uh, we talked about the puppet warp in other uh, tutorials, but I'm just going to bend that uh, her foot right here, just so it's kind of like more so on uh, the curve of this um, mushroom. So that's all I did right there. I just kind of moved her her foot so it looks like it's actually on uh, the edge of that. So that's just one little one little tweak there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start working on a shadow on her. So uh, anytime you're going to miniaturize someone, put them into the scene, they need to make sure that they look like they belong. And a shadow is one of the best ways uh, to make it look like they belong. Um, so I'm not going to do anything too complicated here. I'm just going to get a multiply layer and kind of get like one of these dark uh, red colors, maybe a little bit desaturated. And I'm just going to paint, I'm just going to paint like right underneath her and, uh, where her, her legs and her, her, uh, shoe is, is interacting with this mushroom. I'm just going to paint a little shadow on here. You, we could go back and reference like the, um, the original picture. Remember our original picture, she's sitting on a rock and you can see how dark the shadow is right under her legs and right under her shoes. And that's really all I'm trying to do here is just make, uh, a nice little dark shadow uh, right here uh, on the surface of this mushroom. And that's going to make it look a lot more realistic just doing that. Okay, so we've got our shadow down there. Just painted it on there. Nothing too fancy. Now I'm going to add a little bit more contrast to her. She had, when I took the picture, or when I used the picture, uh, you can see that the contrast is a little bit lower on her than it is in this scene. So I'm just going to get a levels adjustment on the model. And uh, I'm just going to make her a little bit darker, but not too dark. So let's bring their blacks up just a little bit and then uh, make her a little bit brighter. So I'm just adding a little bit of contrast to match this overall scene. So a little subtle, but I think sometimes uh, matching the contrast uh, is going to help you out in the long run. All right. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start blurring her because... Uh, in this scene right here, we have uh, a toadstool that's in focus, but the background is nice and blurry. So what I want to do is I just want to get the blur tool, go over to your uh, left side and uh, grab your uh, blur tool here. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and use my strength at 100 percent. And so that'll be fine. And I'm just going to paint. I'm just going to paint right on like the, the far ends of her. So like not her face or anything, but like. Uh, on the edges of her hat and maybe her little um, her bag that's on her back and uh, 
you know, the parts that are furthest away from the camera. I'm going to kind of try to blur those just a little bit. And what that's going to do, it's going to look like that she is uh, kind of out of focus, at least, you know, the furthest uh, parts away from the camera. Uh, those are going to be out of focus just a little bit. And uh, I think that's going to help uh, make it look like she's in the scene. Because you look at this toadstool, the first part is in focus, but the back part starts to go out of focus. And so that's all I'm doing, just very subtle little blurs here. Uh, making her look like um, part of her is out of focus. And that definitely helps sell uh, the miniaturized uh, look when you do that. Okay, so we've got her blurred a little bit on the edges. Now what I'm going to do is uh, start working on some color grade. Um, well, you could stop right here if, you're, if you want to stop, um, and that's fine. Uh, but I want to do some little color adjustments that are going to affect everything in the scene. And when I do that, it's going to make it look a lot more realistic. So I'm going to go right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go right above um, our background and I'm going to get a brush tool and I'm going to get one of these uh, colors here in the back, these kind of light colors. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make uh, a lot of this uh, background a lot brighter. Remember our original picture, she's got like a bright white sky behind her. And so I'm going to make uh, the background for this picture a little bit brighter. Not completely white, uh, but I'm just going to paint some some nice little colors, some, uh, some light colors here in the back, maybe even change that to screen. And uh, I'm going to leave it kind of like that. And uh, I painted too much though. I painted it over this toadstool. So let's go ahead and mask out where I painted that those colors at. So let's make sure we get rid of that. And my shadow is actually going in the air. Make sure your shadow doesn't go in the air. Uh, so little things like this. I'm just I'm just adding some some fog, some atmosphere to the background. Make sure you mask out that that toadstool there. And then I'm going to go up on top of everything up here to the, the very top, and I'm going to start doing some other things as well. So I'm going to go ahead and take what that, that color in the background, that gray, uh, purple color, and I'm going to paint it over everything. So I'm going to paint it like right over the model, right over the uh, the mushroom there, right over the, the edge of the grass here. I'm just going to do that, and I'm going to change that blend mode to lighten, and then I'm going to lower that opacity quite a bit. And what that's doing is it's just, it's, it's, harmonizing everything together. The model and the mushroom are both being affected uh, by uh, this little fog layer that we have here. Now what I'm going to do is a selective color, and uh, I'm just going to play around with some of these settings on the selective color, especially the blacks. I'm going to make the blacks all get just a little bit lighter, so I'm going to bring my blacks over to the left. And let's change a little bit of the colors here. I'm going to go to my neutrals and just add a little bit of cyan and uh, take a little bit of yellow out, which is going to make it a lot cooler. Something like that, I think that's good. And then let's just do one more color grade. I'm gonna do a gradient map, and I'm gonna do a purple to an orange gradient map. I'm gonna change that to lighten, and then bring this opacity down pretty far, like 20%. There we go. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, well, I just cut her out, I added a shadow underneath her, I blurred the edges of her, and then I added some color grade and some effects uh, just to make the scene look a little bit more interesting. So this is our before. This is what we started off when we just cut her out and put her into the scene and didn't do any other edits. And then this is what we ended up at the very end. And this looks a lot more believable. It looks a lot more interesting, but it's just cutting out, adding some blurs, adding some shadows, and then working on some color grades and lighting adjustments. Um, and this is a one uh, very effective way to make these miniature portraits look a little bit more realistic. But guys, that's all I've got for today. I hope that you enjoyed this one. This one was a little bit longer than five minutes. I hope you'll forgive me on that. Uh, but I hope that you enjoyed this one and we'll be back again tomorrow morning with a brand new Photoshop tutorial. See you then, guys.